I honestly don't know if this is a good idea, but I think I'm gonna do another knit challenge. Just the other night, I finished this striped sweater, which I am calling the stripe pipe sweater. This was a very spontaneous uh, project that I just started. I wanted to get rid of some scrap yarns and um, it took me, well, about two weeks, but that was because I had to rip out some stuff, but it took me surprisingly, I mean, it went really quickly. So I am thinking that uh, I want to attempt to make another dress. I have lots of cotton yarns and I have so much silk yarn left from the wedding dress that I made last summer. So I am thinking if I could knit a dress from cotton or the silk yarns that I have, uh, that would be very much like this one, but just uh, wider than the body. I'm thinking if I could do it in just one week, which I don't know if that's even possible, but I'm thinking that I'll give myself like a crazy deadline so then I will actually finish a project because one of my biggest struggles is also I start so many projects and then I don't finish them. So I'm thinking if I give myself like a week's deadline, I mean, that is a lot of knitting, but I honestly feel like this went really quickly. I knitted it on four millimeters, so it's a US six needle. Um, so I'm feeling very tempted to try it. I have spread out all of my yarns um, trying to think of color combinations and this is kind of the colors I think I want to be using. I'm not sure about this yellow one yet. I've also made a little swatch here, kind of trying to see what it would look like, which yarns I want to be using for it. These are all the yarns I have left from my wedding dress project. So I have there are 10 balls of it. So I have like one kilo left of silk yarn. This is knitting for olives, the cream color. So I'm thinking, I mean, this is a very, very nice yarn to work with. So I'm thinking if I could make the stripes with that one. I'm not sure yet though, like if I want some thinner stripes, I have all kinds of um, inspiration photos or from Pinterest that I found. Um, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna start and see how it goes. I think also the reason that I really enjoyed knitting this and it went so quickly is because when you have these different stripes and different colors, you're always just thinking about finishing the next stripe. And in this case, I had each stripe was eight rounds or rows. So it kind of never gets boring and just feels like it progresses so quickly because it's so visible as opposed to just like working with one color. So that's somehow, I don't know, I just want to do like more stripes and I'm even wearing stripes today. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go with it, not think too much, not question my own instincts too much because I feel like I sometimes get into the habit of I have an idea, something I want to do, but for some reason my brain tells me like, no, but you should have finished this project or you should do the thing that I thought maybe two weeks ago that I was planning to do. And I always feel like the projects that I um, do where I really follow my intuition and my instinct and what really excites me at the moment, those are the ones that I tend to be really happy with and those go like flow <laughs> pretty smoothly. I'm just somehow trying to <laughs> rationalize for myself that I should be doing this, uh, clearly having still some doubts about it, but I think I'm just gonna get going. Vika, what are you doing? absolutely crazy idea to finish this in one week because in one week uh, my good friend Sobi um, who I met through knitting it's her birthday so I'm thinking how cool would it be if I could go to her birthday and wear my dress um, but let's see I mean it might be totally not possible but you know gotta give yourself a challenge and a deadline to get to things happening I think I definitely want for my dress to have a bit more narrow sleeves and thinking, well, I guess I can just start and then I can see what kind of color scheme I want to have. If I want to have like one of each stripe, um, cause this, I'm not sure, like in a dress, 
if I want it to be like this so that you have it like always just one color and then it kind of changes or if I want to have it like alternating. No siis jos se joku ryhtitaho täytyy olla, joku tossa ei toimi nyt. Tossa järjestyksessä. Nyt on äskenen, nytkin se on vähän parantu. Ja mun mielestä pitää olla ne enemmän vaaleet värit yhdessä. Mm. Tää on tosi vaikea. Tää on ihan sika vaikee. Niin. Kaikki muut toimii aika kivasti yhteen. Okei, noin on vierekkäin, ne on niin hyvät, mutta... Joku ei tosta sitä Complete. And I've placed these removable stitch markers to mark where I will be picking up stitches for my shoulders. It's 1 p.m. Row number one done. Challenge has officially begun. Mm -hmm. It is officially day two of this challenge and yesterday I was really really undecisive about what colors to choose for my dress but I finally made a choice I kind of went back to very much my original plan and here it is this is how far I've come so I've completed all of the upper back and now I've started to work on the left front and I'm very very excited about this, very very excited about these colors um, and right now I'm feeling very optimistic with my timeline because I mean I've already completed the upper back yesterday um, but of course uh, working the body and working like a full skirt part <laughs> for this um, is gonna be a lot of work but so far feeling uh, confident, feeling good All right, it is the afternoon and I have managed now to finish both the back and I've also done now both the left and the right front and I've connected them. Um, right now we are going to a friend for some dinner. I am wearing the Ula La top that I knitted last year. This one has the crisscross back. Um, so glad that it's finally warm enough to wear this and I'm definitely gonna bring my project with me and work on it as we have dinner. Uh, Hello, hello. It is day two of this challenge and today I did have to do some work stuff so I've not been able to knit as much as I would have liked to, which is always a bummer, but I did make some good progress yesterday. So um, let me see. Wait, is this day two or day three of this project? No, this is day three. Wow, time goes so quickly. <laughs> So, I have managed to finish the entire upper yoke. So at first I did the back here, then I picked up stitches for both the fronts and then I connected them there in the middle. And I cannot tell you how much I love this color scheme. I was really uh, doubtful first because I started with this um, white color. I like this, a little bit wonky here. <laughs> this white color, so this is the silk yarn that I had for my wedding dress. Then I uh, use this pink one and then the brown one and at the moment or in the beginning I wasn't so sure about it but then when I added all these colors now I really like it like it gives me kind of like a little bit like 70s or yeah, 70s like retro vibes yeah, like in a good way um, so yeah I'm just very very excited about it and now I'm gonna continue I'm just knitting in the round I think I'm gonna have to 
do some increases around the sides um, because of course like you know the hips are the widest part um, and I don't want definitely don't want it to be like very tight or snug um, so I think I'm gonna increase there a little bit to get like a slight a-line shape <laughs> It is the next day. Today is Saturday. I have progressed quite nicely. Today I really am determined to knit a lot. I think this is day five going on my project and I am just about to try it on for the first time. I haven't done any try-ons up until now. Um, I've cast on uh, or picked up stitches for the sleeve. So I started on the sleeve a little bit just because I wanted to see kind of how that would look. And I've worked a fair amount of the body and now I've just put my stitches so I have them on two needles so I can try it on without losing any stitches, hopefully. Um, very excited to see and very excited to see how far the length is. I think I'm gonna have to do like probably, I mean, at least the same length that I already have to get it long enough to be like an actual dress. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be like a midi dress or a maxi dress. I was kind of envisioning it to be kind of a maxi dress, but I have to try it on and then I have to see because now it's Sunday. Um, I'm trying to get it done by Thursday, so I could wear it on Thursday, Ooh, but we'll see. It is so incredibly nice to be able to sit outside and knit again. It is definitely my favorite thing to be outside knitting after such a cold and long winter, having light, warmth, sunshine. Oh, I am just so, so happy, even though I have like a lot of work things going on, so I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but much easier to handle all of that when you get the energy and vitamin D. <gasps> oh, I like it. I definitely like it. And it's a good, um, it has like a good positive ease, like it's pretty big, which is really something that I want for it. And also I think the sleeve is looking good because I want the sleeves to be uh, quite narrow. So I think that's gonna be good as well. And then also, uh, as opposed to from the stripe pipe, the sweater that I did, I wanted this to have a much larger neckline. So I'm definitely gonna do a rib here, um, but just to be like, make it more summery, <laughs> I wanted it to be big and I think it's pretty good. And this is how far I've come. I've really tried to work on the hem. I'm feeling a little bit stressed because I only have today and tomorrow, in a way, if I'm trying to get it ready for Thursday. I mean, I could work on it still Thursday and then just steam block it. Um, and today I'm really, I'm trying to get like 10 stripes done, which now I have over 200 stitches. I'm working on a four millimeters, that's US six needle. So that's a lot of knitting, um, but, 
I, really, I so far I am really happy with it. The stripes are going pretty quickly. Um, right now I am at my office. I'm doing some sketches because of course when you do one project you get inspired for the next project. So I really want to do like a simple striped, um, I'm thinking like a top and a skirt. So very much inspired by this, but this time I would like to have the stripes be a little bit thinner. Still not over the stripe craze, I suppose. This would be then my third striped project, but I think it's just, I don't know, summer, you know, being by the sea. That's just the vibes I'm feeling at the moment. All right, I am on my way back to the office. Just had some lunch with a friend. Um, that kind of dragged out, but I always, because uh, I feel like there's always so much work that could be done. Um, and sometimes uh, in the past, especially, I've said no to social things or meeting friends because I've always somehow felt that no, I have to work, I have to get stuff done, especially when you're self-employed. But nowadays I really try to schedule in also times to meet friends because when you are working by yourself, it can get a little lonely and I always feel like it gives me so much energy and inspiration. So it's nice. my dress ready it is Thursday and unfortunately it's looking like I'm not gonna be able to hit my goal so here is how far I've come I mean it's a proper dress it's already um, I think somewhere like I'm not sure I think it's somewhere along the knees for me at the moment which is it's like a proper dress and when you think about it that I started last Wednesday today's Thursday so, I mean, in eight or is that nine <laughs> days coming this far is pretty crazy, I would say. But hey, I think I do want to make it like a maxi dress so that it's below the knee and it kind of feels a little silly just, you know, to try to not finish it, make it shorter just for the sake of this video and this challenge. So I think I'm going to continue on... Um, and uh, make it the length that I really want it to be. I love the feel of it, like this cotton yarn uh, feel of it and the drape of it. I will show you um, well, very soon. You're gonna see also the final piece. But now I'm gonna try to finish it. I mean, doing these challenges, I've also been thinking about, of course, knitting. It's easy to start performing that in the sense that it becomes this thing, one more thing, like you have to be productive, you have to knit fast. Like that's not really what it's about, or it, I don't think it should be about. Like knitting um, is something that is very slow, it's very meditative, it's very relaxing. Um, so the reason for doing these challenges is of course, I think it's uh, fun to film them. And I always think it's just fun to push myself a little bit to really, oh, that's Vigo. <laughs> messing up the carpet again um to really focus on one project because i tend to have many projects at the same time which leads to me having a lot of unfinished objects so that's why i like to do these uh, videos kind of keeps me accountable to try to get a specific project done by a certain timeline so but i wouldn't want um anyone to get like stress or feel like, oh, like you should be able to complete this many projects and any kind of like those kind of feelings. I 
fill our lives are. There's enough of that already and filled with deadlines. So, you know, that's just a thought I had this morning. Um, of course, I'm feeling a little bit like, oh, I couldn't complete it uh, by my deadline. But, you know, that is life. That is fine. Uh, and actually, I not bummed at all. It's totally okay. Uh, I'd rather really complete this and do it exactly as I want it to be and according to my vision. All right, so for the next few hours, I am going to be knitting. It is Friday and today I think is the day that I am going to finish this sweater. Sweater? No, dress. <laughs> so yesterday I didn't manage to finish it for that event, my friend's birthday, um, as I had wished, but I had it with me. I've been knitting the entire morning. Yesterday I actually went to the hairdresser, a little bit more blonde, so I feel like good stuff is going to happen. I'm have a new hairdo, gonna have my new dress. Hopefully gonna be able to wear it in the weekend. And now I am going to check the length because I think we're kind of closing in on the length that I want. Um, I'm pretty much, yes, <laughs> this is the right way. My vision is to have it kind of maxi length, but I know that it's probably gonna grow a lot in length. So I'm kind of a little bit unsure and a little bit afraid of um, making it too long because then if it's gonna grow, Ooh, okay, I have to show you. Yay! Look! I mean, okay, so it's now like just below the knees, but I mean, I have a feeling it might grow like 10 centimeters, and of course, I'm still gonna do like a rib thing. So I don't know if I could, should keep like going maybe a few more row, a rows stripes, <laughs> a few more rounds, <laughs> a few more stripes, and then continue. And then, um, yeah, I decided to go for like pretty much like long sleeves. It's like almost like three quarters, I would say, or maybe a full long sleeve, but I think I'm um, gonna keep it this length. All right, time for the last bit. I think I'm just gonna start doing now the hem rib. I think we have like a thunderstorm coming. I just came out on the porch, oh, but it's very, very cozy. Just came out here to sit. There was sunshine like five minutes ago. This is the first thunderstorm of the summer of the season we're having. Um, let's see how long I'll be able to sit out here. asking me if I'm still watching. That is when you know that you spend too much time <laughs> knitting, but I have finally, finally completed the dress. So now I'm gonna weave in the rest of the ends and block it. Well, hello, hello! <laughs> it is a few weeks since I last saw you. The stripe pipe dress is now complete and I'm so happy to announce that I also have the pattern for it ready now. I will put the link in the description below. So when I finished this project, that's already like a month ago, then I've had it, well, I wrote the pattern, then I've had it test knitted out and it is now released. And I've kind of been holding off on releasing this vlog because I wanted them 
uh, that when this vlog comes out, that I'll have the pattern ready. So you can now, if you want to also make your own stripe pipe dress, it's a really nice project to use up some scrap yarns. You can of course customize sleeve lengths and the length of the dress and even the colors. It's a really beginner friendly project because there isn't a lot of like difficult techniques and things. And also just a really nice project to work on because of the addictive nature of stripes. Also the stripe pipe sweater uh, that you saw me wearing at least in the beginning of this video, that pattern is also live. So I will put the links to both of these patterns in the description below this video. So the stripe pipe sweater and the stripe pipe dress are now both available. Really nice, the scrap yarn project. I have been very much into knitting stripes this summer. I don't know what it is but it's very addictive and a lot of fun and a really good way to just get rid of some scrap yarns or if you really like color like I do, it's a really nice excuse to go a little bonanza crazy in the yarn shop. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, you can come and say hi. I'm over at Kutuva Kika. There you'll find more of my photos. I also share a lot of the stuff I'm working on in my Instagram stories. Um, and yeah, I will hope to see you in a next video. Got some really nice tutorials that I'm planning to release here in the coming few weeks. So I hope to see you back for those. And otherwise, I hope you have some nice fun knitting projects and I will see you. Take care, bye.